Yo, what is good people? I go by the name of Killer BZ and welcome back to the channel, man. If you guys have been enjoying the content on the channel, make sure you guys are smashing the like button. If you guys are not subscribed, make sure you hit the subscribe button, okay? If you guys are not part of the Discord, make sure you join the Discord. The link to that will be in the description below. And if you're not following your boy on Twitch, make sure you follow me on Twitch, okay? Uh, all the links to those things will be in the description below, okay? Now, um, before we get into this video, man, I don't normally really do spotlight, uh, go through like champions and their spotlights and like you know what's changing and stuff like that it's something i want to get into the habit of doing regularly though okay so um without further ado getting into that apologies there hasn't really been no live streams recently um i've been really struggling with my back um and i don't want to just sort of sit there very uncomfortable on a live stream with my webcam off um because i'm having to move around quite a lot i try whenever i get the opportunity to um sit down and do videos and whatnot and record them like when my back isn't in as much pain, but you know, my physiotherapy starts in the middle of July. So fingers crossed onwards and upwards from that point onwards, okay? Uh, but anyway, without further ado, let's get into um, Ronin, man. So Ronin um, is receiving a buff, okay? Now, um, in my opinion, I remember like testing out Ronin when he first came out and I didn't really think that he was bad. Like, you know, nothing about him was like, amazing but at the same time nothing with him was like bad um and you know i, I don't i think there's so many more champions that like, are in more of an urgent need of a buff than the ronin you know, without saying no names <laughs> um but yeah so you know what we're gonna do is we're gonna just quickly look through ronin's um ronin's kind of change okay and kind of see um if it kind of is going to take him from being a, a champion that doesn't really get used to like a champion that is going to have a significant place within certain parts of the contest okay now uh, so, okay so ronan's uh, ronan's mechanics for those of you who don't know okay ronan is an offensive damage dealer who specializes in bleeds and critical hits okay he's he he also has access to three unique stances that allow him to quickly switch combat abilities in the heat of the battle each stance provides Ronan with either improved blocking, offensive utility, or bonus bleed damage. Uh, Ronan gains bonus critical damage when moving through each of the stances and will be able to strategically evade enemy attacks when he is at his deadliest, okay? Now, the thing for me is like, you see when it says improved blocking, in end game content, Yo, you take a lot of block damage. Well, I take a lot of block damage, okay? <laughs> so, like, like one blocked hit, dude, that, like, that's like 20% of my health gone. So, if this improved block damage is going to be the difference between, like, like, instead of taking 20% block damage, you're going to, from one hit, you'll take, like, 5%. Yo, I'm down. I'm down because you know that give me a hell of a lot of survivability. You know? <laughs> but uh, but anyway, okay. So um, apply debuffs, uh, apply bleed debuffs by striking into your opponent. Uh, prepare Ronan's stance and build up his cruelty effects for a massive attack and critical rating boost. Expertly evade your opponent's strikes to gain even more attack rating and strike when the time is right. So this is the thing for me, right? I I. I personally, this is a, a style of fighting that suits me, okay? I personally struggle to go into fights where there's a lot of mechanics within the fight already that I need to be aware of. So like, whether it be like, I don't know, say you're fighting someone like Void or, or uh, Korg or um, Thing, where you need to like keep an eye out on certain things on, on their side of the screen, like as well as your own, like, that's already a lot going on for someone like me and my concentration levels, okay? So using characters where they're not fairly simple to use and I have to get the timing and everything right to be able to like get their max potential out in certain circumstances, yo, it's a headache for me, man. Those are the kind of champs I try to avoid using unless they are like game-changing champions, you know, like champions like Wasp, uh, not Wasp, sorry, Wasp is good, but like champions like Ghost and like Quake and, you know, those sort of champions, when you learn to play them, they are game-changers, you know, uh, for you. So unless it's going to be like on that type of level, like Proxima's pretty, pretty tricky to master, depending on your skill level, 
like but you know for me i find proxima quite fun to play um and it's just like obviously missions where you have to do them um and you you kind of know what you have to do within because once you know what the mission is it's just normal fighting you know whereas like you don't have to time this with timing that and then making sure all these things are in line together and then use your special to get the damage out you know uh but anyway so uh the strengths he's got um on demand evasion uh ronan has the ability to predict to predict to predictably evade the attacks of his opponents uh when ronan builds enough cruelty passives moving through his stances and um, he can spend them to avoid attacks altogether and gain an attack rating boost now originally when i first read this i thought wow like yo if you because you can stack up to seven cruelty passives right so originally i was like dude like you can evade seven attacks but you can't so i, I believe each we'll see later on in the in the um description here that each evade takes away three cruelty passives so if you can only get max seven you can really only evade twice okay uh but uh, yo having the ability to, to <laughs> auto evade twice and not evade and get slapped in the face like me is a, is, a, is can be kind of a big deal you know it can be kind of a big deal um ronan has the ability to parry projectile attacks which is amazing for me uh purify debuffs and reduce defensive ability accuracy in his stances now this is amazing for me because yo when it comes to fighting people like i am an affinity woman i am so trash and i can't reparry to save my life i can accidentally but when i purposely try to reparry it just doesn't work so this is this is something that would be very interesting to me and my skill level at the game okay um combining disorient and um wrath stance will temporarily is it wrath wraith wraith stance sorry uh will temporarily lower your opponent's defensive ability accuracy by 100 percent, which is really good uh using each of the stances in the right situations will give ronan strategic flexibility in a variety of matchups it's kind of like how you've got the different modes in black um black widow clairvoyant uh, but I think the only thing is i think she's a bit more straightforward to use you know what i mean um in my opinion anyway uh, mobility and intercepts switching between stances is the key to getting the most damage out of ronin doing so requires players to actively be dashing in and out of combat and picking the right moments to engage as a result ronin grants more opportunities to intercept incoming attacks uh than most champions that's very true I'm not that great at intercepting, but <laughs> we might have to change that, you feel me? <laughs> uh, I'm not gonna go through uh, weaknesses. The thing is, Ronan gets a lot of buffs, man. So if you have to fight against Ronan um, in any kind of like quest or anything like that, bringing someone that can nullify champ, nullify buffs is gonna just absolutely smash through Ronan. Unless there's an extra node on there where he's got a 95 percent chance to not be nullified or something like that um then you know this would be a bit different but anyway um so uh abilities always active when ronan would miss an attack or be evaded he gains a cruelty passive increasing critical damage by 259.55 max seven stacks um the developers notes are just tips okay for you guys uh sword attacks um attacks with the sword have a 15 percent chance to inflict bleed dealing 829.15 direct damage over 3.5 seconds critical strikes using the sword have a 100 chance to inflict bleed okay uh intercepting attacks has a 1400 critical plus 1400 sorry critical rating um against bleed immune champions uh, gain a cruelty passive when ronan would inflict a bleed which is really good this cannot occur more than once every 2.5 seconds which is good okay uh, stance preparation ronan prepares his stance by landing a light attacks uh, light one prepares guard stance light two prepares wraith stance and light three prepares demon stance dodging back um after preparing a stance makes ronan enter a stance uh, stances are not affected by ability accuracy reduction now th this this hasn't changed that's always how you've um activated ronan stances if i remember correctly so uh so if you've played ronan that'll be no different okay um when entering a stance uh hold on when entering a new stance gain a cruelty passive increasing critical damage rating by 259.55 max stack seven when entering a stance when reaching 
Seven cruelty passives gain a precision passive, increasing critical rating by 3,900 for 18 seconds. 18 seconds is a long time, man. Um, okay, so here's all of the stances now. Guard stance, wall time blocks activate the parry mastery, stunning the opponents even if their attack is projectile based. So this is good for those of you that are early into the game and you haven't unlocked the parry mastery yet. Um, you know, this is a character that you will automatically be able to parry with, okay? Um, I believe that's how it works. Ronan gains 30, plus 35% chance to perfect block. Entering this stance has a 100% chance to purify a debuff, which is really good, okay? Uh, Rave stance, all attacks reduce defensive ability accuracy by 40%, which is good. Uh, Demon stance, all bleeds gain plus 75% ability accuracy and can be inflicted on blocked hits, which is good as well. Okay, special one, ambush from the mist. Uh, disorients the opponent, um, reducing defensive ab ability accuracy by 60% um, and block proficiency by 50% for nine seconds. So yo, if, you're, if you are in the raid stance and you hit the SP1, bro, that is a 100% defense ability accuracy reduction, man. That's good. Um, and also uh, enters the prepared stance that you're on at the time, okay? Um, special two, uh, split the river, inflicts a bleed that deals 8 to 9.15 direct damage over 3.5 seconds for each cruelty passive. Um, and then it also removes all cru cruelty passives, okay? So that's where you're gonna get a lot of damage from. Um, special three, marksman's revenge, gain a fury passive increase on an attack. Uh, by 615.94 for 35 seconds. That's a long time. Each active cruelty passive increases the attack rating by an additional 615.94. Removes all cruelty passives, okay? So you're definitely going to have some damage. Um, it's just going to be interesting to see what that looks like in game uh, once we get to test him out and play him, okay? Um, signature ability, unrelenting agility. When attacked, while at seven cruelty passives, Ronan gains evasion on the next incoming hit for two seconds, removing three cruelty passives when Ronan evades on attack. Successful evades do not grant stance abilities, okay? Uh, when Ronan evades on attack, gain a fury passive, increasing attack rating by 473.81 for 12 seconds so bear in mind that that uh, that safety net of like ronin um like ronin ev automatically evading attacks that is going to be only when he's duped okay so you'll still be able to it seems like we'll still be able to get the damage the the big damage dealt from him at, or his maximum damage we should be able to still get that uh from him without him being duped uh, when Ronan, yeah, when Ronan, the only thing is when Ronan evades on attack. Um, I wonder if, I wonder if this means when it says here, when Ronan evades on attack, gain a fury passive, increasing or uh, attack rate, increasing attack rating by 473. I wonder if that's evading attack by the auto evasion or evading an attack by dexing. It, it seems like it's going to be the first one evading the attack by the auto evasion signature ability i believe it, it should be like that anyway um but yeah if it's just evading a normal attack then that's 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 gonna be really nice um okay hold on wait 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 this might this might tell us actually this evade comes in handy against special attacks that are difficult to avoid players can also strategically decide not to activate this evade by blocking attacks or, or using the dexterity mastery um if players are feeling lucky they can intentionally set set off this evade to gain a temporary yeah that's very good that, that's that's a very good point so i i think i think it's not i think that it's definitely not based on new decks and it's based on the um auto evade mechanic from the sig ability okay all right so synergies um so the first synergy with captain marvel the duration of the bleed debuffs is increased by three percent uh, for each active cruelty not bad um the Ant-Man synergy, I, I like this synergy for Ant-Man as well, bro. For Ant-Man, I, I really like this synergy. Um, so plus 25% block proficiency in Gar stance. Um, and then for Ant-Man, it gives 20% chance to inflict a Fatitude um, debuff on the opponent when struck and increases the potency of poisons by 35%. I don't know if this is new or whether this was already the synergy that he had. Uh, why do I think that this was a synergy he already had? But anyway, um, now this synergy I like, bro. This synergy with Guillotine and Nightcrawler. So Ronan, blocking attacks has a 50% chance 
to bleed the opponent, dealing 15% of the attack as direct damage over five seconds. I like that. There's no cooldown time as well, man. So I, I like that. I definitely like that. I definitely like that. And uh, for guillotine, striking an opponent with the fourth light attack has a 30% chance to gain one soul. Uh, the cooldown for that is 10 seconds, man. Um, so then you've got the masterless synergy uh with moon knight i also like this for moon knight as well again uh, a fury buff increase on attack rating by 15 percent for four uh 15 for four seconds upon switching stances uh which i like uh but then for moon knight it's a 30 percent chance to instantly regenerate 35 percent of damage taken when struck i like that man i like that but yeah that's 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 mainly it man i mean it's pretty difficult to say on paper what the champion is going to look like in game um you know he was already like i said earlier he was already a decent champion i don't know whether these changes are going to make him now be a champion that people are like yo you need to take up ronin man because the damage is crazy but you know we'll obviously have to wait to do gameplay and um and test him out and kind of see what that looks like man for sure 100 but um but yeah let me know you guys' thoughts man if you guys are ronin players or you guys love uniting ronin let me know if you're excited for this buff um if you guys haven't really looked into ronin but by the looks of what you guys have seen you think you might want to test him out or you might try him or he sounds like he could be fairly good uh then obviously let me know in the comments below man uh but yeah i'm, I'm looking forward i i quite liked playing around with him before when i first on the testing the ronin testing anyway so um so yeah man, we'll have a little play around to see the difference in the damage man but uh, that's gonna be it for the video today guys man i hope you guys enjoyed take care let me know if you guys are excited for the ronin buff or um obviously you've got the diablo ronin and bishop man i'm waiting to see the bishop buff i hope the bishop buff is amazing only because i have him as a six star but uh but yeah man um let me know what you guys think of this uh buff okay uh but that's gonna be it for the video today guys take care and i'll catch you guys in the next one man peace